Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. It's early in the morning here, Sunday morning, October 3rd, 2021. Um, and I decided to go ahead and do <clears throat> a week ahead reading for someone out there. Um, if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, take what you what does resonate and just leave the rest. Um, if you're just tuning in my channel, usually I do a week ahead spread for myself, but I'm no longer doing that. I'm going to do for you guys. Um, see how this works out just because I don't I rarely do for other people. So we'll see how it works out. Today, because it is in the month of October, I'm using the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck um, by Minerva Siegel. Beautiful. Published by Inside Editions. Beautiful. That's upside down. Got a nice little purple ribbon here. It's beautiful. These are the bags. Gorgeous bags. And I love the cardstock on this. It's very velvety. And I went and got me a hot chocolate this morning because uh, it sprinkled a little bit yesterday. It was supposed to rain all day yesterday. It sprinkled for like 10 minutes and then it got cold. And I'm like, why is it cold? So it's chilly right now. It's probably about 60 degrees. It's not that cold, but considering we were, were we've been going back and forth between 90s and 70s, it's cold. <laughs> um, and it's just got that little crisp in the air in the morning that says it's fall. Um, and I'm so excited. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna pull from my Mildred Payne Secret Pocket Oracle. Um, I forgot it in yesterday's spooky decks. I don't know why I always forget it. I use it all the time. So it's not like I use it just for the Samhain or Halloween season. So that could be why I forgot it about it. Or the fact that I just I keep it in my purse on me at all times. And maybe it was an out of sight, out of mind thing that I forgot it. But I'll be using that today as my backup for this spread. So, if you're just tuning into my channel, I do a week ahead spread every week. It's energy, obstacle, and advice. I've already pulled the cards. I have not looked at them yet, um, however. And um, I do have my phone out here. And uh, it's 63 right now. <laughs> um. I don't know why every time I do a video where I'm doing spooky decks, I forget this deck. And I'm like, I don't know why. Um, it's always in my purse. It's always on me. So I don't know why I forget it. Um, but we're doing the energy obstacle and advice for the week. The only difference is I normally pull for myself. This time I'm pulling for you guys. Um, and I got me a little hot chocolate. It's delicious. So... Here's the bags, and this is the energy of the week, and it looks like I pulled the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, and I think that's fitting, it's like Mrs. Claus, because she's so giving to everyone. Um, and uh, I don't know that I, well, she does have dots in her like, pupils, but they're tiny. Um... I get this just merriment, um, spreading the love this week vibe with this card. Um, yeah, it reminds me of Mrs. Claus, like she's giving of herself to everybody. Um, kind of like the Empress, uh, feeling. Um, but then there's a little thing kind of niggling in the back of my mind that says, don't be sure don't give too much of yourself away. Because you may not get it back. So that's interesting. So it's it's all about giving, showing the love this week to others. So for the obstacle of the week, I pulled the page of potions. That's the page of cups. <clears throat> and the page of cups to me is all about balance. And I get that with this because I just said... Um, you know, she's like Mrs. Claus, giving, 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 but don't be sure not to give too much of yourself. So there needs to be a balance struck here. Um, whether it be um, 
I don't know why I'm getting this strange, like, whether it be youthful or adult, like, um, maybe you need to, maybe somebody needs to do a balancing act between their kids and their spouse or, um, their kids and their work. Um, maybe one or the other has been getting too much love lately. Um, and you need to spread the wealth to everybody. Uh, but also maintaining your, yourself. So that's very interesting. And then for the advice of the week, I got all King of, po King of Cups. I got all um, I can't even think of the name of it. The royal family. Like all royal cards. <laughs> and the King of Cups is, is um, I still get this uh, maintaining the balance between the um, The hearth and home and the outside world um, kind of deal with this is like he, the king of potions or the king of cups has maintained, he's required the status needed to find this balance. Um, and um, I think if you are... Um, steadily keeping watch this week of that balance, then you should be fine um, in, in keeping that balance, but making sure that everybody gets the attention that they need um, and the love that they need. Um, so that's what I'm seeing here. <laughs> um, and I am said Queen of Pentacles. It is Queen of Pentacles, but it's the presence in this. So... Let's go to the book and see what it says. What do I do with it? <laughs> and I love the books. got full color pages. Love it. Um, I wait. I passed it up. Uh, it's because they're first. It's the only deck I have where the miners start off with the king and then the queen and then they go down. It's weird. I forgot. For a second. Upright, joyful, and content with life. The queen of presence is a kind caretaker who has everything she needs. Caretaker. She's stable, prosperous, and living a life of abundance. The queen of presence advises you to stay humble benevolent, and kind. In reverse, the Queen of Pentacles' presence has difficulty finding the balance between work and home. What'd I just say? Uh, she feels pulled between the two and unable to give either her full focus, reevaluate what's really important to you, and adjust your schedule accordingly to avoid frustration and burnout. And I just said all that. Right. Crazy, crazy. Um, because I don't rarely, I don't look at the book unless I'm on camera with you guys. So that's that's awesome. <clears throat> well, let's go to the potions or the cups. Uh, and we got the page of potions. Upright, the page of potions goes through life and death with childlike curiosity and hopeful enthusiasm. Unleash your creativity and change, charge forward in pursuit of the things you're passionate about. Sometimes this card represents the beginning of a new relationship or close friendship. Reverse, the page of potions, reverse doesn't always handle his emotions well. He can be childish, naive, and even a little selfish. This card appears reversed when you're in need of a new emotional outlet. Now is a great time to explore creative new ways of expressing yourself. And I get that because it's the page. He's in between that boy and manhood. Um, so I understand that. That he needs to find himself and find ways. And I think that goes back to here where she's giving, giving, giving to everybody. She needs to find her own 
little thing to keep from that burnout um, on here. Does that make sense? <clears throat> I still get, I always think of the page of cups as a balance though. So, uh, King of Potions. The King of Potions is a loyal, sensible problem solver. Embody the energy of the King of Potions by maintaining a healthy balance between the head and heart. Be logical, but stay compassionate and kind. Reversed. The, uh, in reverse, the King of uh, Potions is emotionally turbulent, and his intense, unpredictable moods can harm those around him. If you're feeling overwhelmed, try working through your feelings in healthy ways. Take care to anticipate your responses to make sure your feelings don't get the better of you. And again, balancing act. Um, and I've said many, 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 many times in a lot of my readings, um, there's this need to balance head and heart. Um, that's been like the theme this year for me. So that's interesting. So that is the week ahead. Let's go to, because I'm just dying to see what's in this. <laughs> and this is my Patrick Valenza Mildred Page, Mildred Page Oracle cards. They're super tiny. I'm thinking about getting the full size version. But I adore, adore, <clears throat> adore this deck. So hard. Love it. Um, it's dark, but at the same time, it's, I don't think it's dark. It doesn't read dark to me at all. Um, and that could be why I don't think of it as in this, ca in the category of dark decks. Because I don't see it that way, even though there's cards like this. <laughs> but it is a perfect Halloween-y type deck. Um, it reads great every time. It's an amazing deck. I just want to show you all a little bit of it because I didn't get to show it yesterday. I forgot. I don't know why. Every time I go to show spooky type decks, I forget it. Forget about it. Yeah, it's beautiful. So anyway, let's pull a card from it and see. Can we get more information? Any more information you can give us on this particular spread? On this particular spread. I get the eye. And I just heard beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what I'm hearing is that there's different things. That can. Like with here with the creative outlet. Very different. Things that can help you not give too much of yourself away as the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Presence. Um, you just have to find it. Um, and it may not be something conventional that everybody was like, oh, that's not going to help you relax. But it's something that comforts you. Um, so find your comfort zone. Find something that helps you re-energize and regain balance and stuff. So that's what I'm getting from that. So let's see what the paper says for that. Because I never read this either. <laughs> it says um, um, omniscient, um, omniscience, knowledge, vigilance, honesty, bearing witness. They're just keywords on there. But for this particular spread, this is what I'm getting. Uh, it's like, yeah, like. Um, only you can know what's going to help you re-energize, relax, and not give too much of yourself away. So, anyway, that's what I got for this week uh, for you guys. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And you guys have a great afternoon. Bye.